Woman collapses from lack of oxygen at 10,000 meters in the air. Immediately afterwards, her body slides downwards. When When she wakes up again, the woman was hanging upside down from a rope at 10,000 meters. The woman is terrified. She grabbed the rope as quickly as she could. She shouted for help, but there was no sound from the hot air balloon basket. So she swung her body around, trying to use her inertia to grab the basket. After several attempts, the woman finally got hold of the basket. She held onto the rope for dear life, and then she climbed in as hard as she could. By now the balloon had reached an altitude of 13,000 meters. The surface of the balloon was covered with a thick layer of ice. As a result, the air release valve could not be opened properly, so the woman hurriedly climbed up to the top of the balloon. Suddenly her grip on the rope slipped. She she saw the abyss below her. The woman hurriedly grabbed a rope from the side and tied it securely around her waist, and then with all her might, and climbed to the, the top of the hot air balloon. After finishing, she carefully kicked the valve open a few times. The hot air puffed out. To prevent the valve from freezing again, she cut her shoe with a knife and jammed it firmly against the valve. As the valve continued to, hot air was released. The balloon began to, descending little by little. But that's when the woman noticed the snowflakes in front of her. Why is it floating more and more slowly? It even hovered in the air. The woman panicked. The woman rushed up to look outside and found that the snowflakes were flying up into the sky. It turned out that the hot air balloon was descending too fast. Then the snowflakes were descending. But at this rate, they were all going to die. So the two of them started throwing sandbags like crazy. Even the box was thrown down. But the balloon didn't slow down at all. Then the two men quickly emptying the basket of all the items. They even took off their jackets and threw them down. As the balloon was still descending rapidly. At that moment the man shouted, climb up to the top ring. The two men hurriedly climbed up. Then the man took out his knife. One by one, he cut the ropes holding the balloon basket in place. But when the third rope was cut, it suddenly tilted. The two men were almost thrown out of the basket. In the nick of time, the man sat down and cut the last rope. The hot air balloon basket fell with a whoosh. Who knows? After a lot of effort, the speed of the balloon's descent did not slow down. At that moment, his companion saw the hot air balloon overhead. Suddenly had an idea. Cut the rope of the parachute ring. Maybe we can make the balloon into a parachute. So he slashed the rope. And sure enough, the crotch of the balloon was pulled into the net with a poof. The hot air balloon instantly turned into a parachute. This made the two men very happy. Then the parachute took them both into the forest headlong. When they came to their senses, they shouted each other's names. And so, the two men limped and helped each other towards home.